individuals who try to put out certain energy towards you, right? Because they're jealous of you, right? Look, there are people out <laughs> who are very frantic right now, okay? They are very afraid of what's coming their way. They know they messed up. These are people who chose the path to just, just go against you. They chose to work up against you, to try to like keep you from divine union. See, they wanted to keep you from your purpose, from realizing that your potential is great. So they tried to block everything to do with your like, you know, potential being great. These people were relentless, yo. They were aware. Okay, you are aware of the blocks that they tried to place on you, but they tried to stagnate your finances and, and cause ugly spells to happen against you. So you never gave up throughout this at all, though. You accepted it. I'm telling you right now. They tried to put you on the emotional roller coaster to have you helpless and powerless. So you had to call on your spiritual team, the most high. You had to call on the most high and they had to come and work on your behalf. Yo, I'm telling you right now, they make sure that you are divinely protected at all times. And you know what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. There are people who are very frantic because they are scared because they know what they did. Like they are working really, 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 really hard to try to underdo. I said underdo, but to undo everything that they did against you. Like, I don't, I don't know who I'm talking to, but they're trying to, to figure it out, yo. They're trying to figure it out before right now, especially because this is why they're upset. They've been feeling the backfire of this, yo. I'm telling you, when I tell you the boomerang effect is hitting these people, it is knocking these people down like bowling pins. I'm telling you, they are watching each other like fall. And these people are scared as hell because they are being messed with, yo. And the most recent ritual or whatever they did towards you, yo, I'm telling you, yo, you got them scared as crap. Keep your mind happy. I think it's because you poured into something else. You weren't expecting it. See, I think because you poured into something and you weren't expecting an immediate return, that's why you got an immediate turn. I said an, an immediate return. Ashley Travel Diaz, right? I ain't gonna tell you your business, but Ashley Travel Diaz, she just transmuted any type of depression, low, low vibration through her own method. She she did it. I ain't gonna reveal it to you guys. But by not expecting it and by not like having her hand out, the most high went and just 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 rewarded her right away. Right away. I'm telling you right now. So I'll say congratulations, yo. You said, yeah, I'm going to get ready. Yo, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So look, what's probably like what they would have considered, like they use their most powerful thing that they've been waiting on. Like you got to understand these people have been having like, I'll say a trump card, right? They use their most powerful arsenal to try to come against you. Right. And that's why they're most scared of all because what they did, they realized that they came against themselves. She said, yeah, ready for it. Yes, tons of grounded meditation here. Yeah, walk in nature and fresh salad, fresh fruit. No doubt, no doubt, yo. Walk in nature and actually don't try to be so reliant on social media. Just put social media down for, I would say down more previously or more than you used to. So just put down so social media, put down the cell phones as much as you can. The more you do that, the more you will ground and you will actually be able to manifest your manifestations in the present moment. So the reason why manifestations seem to not always come in rapidly or, you know, when they're supposed to is because I'm going to tell you all what, what happens. We give a lot of a huge portion of our energy to social media, to scroll in, to, you know, that, to this, to what's going on, to, you know, being in the latest business and trend. This is why manifestations slow down because we pour it into the phone. So if it's not directly pouring into making you better, making you feel good or the embodiment of you, you know, transcending and leveling up, elevating, I do not recommend being in your social media all the time. So if you're going to watch affirmations, if you're going to listen to these kind of videos, by all means, yo, definitely listen to social media because this rather than thinking about something that you should should uh, should not be thinking about like 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 me, right? I'm doing this video because it makes me feel good. You see, you, you see what I'm saying? Thank you, thank you, thank you, yo. So I'm making you feel good. Go touch some grass, yo. No doubt. Let's go touch some grass right now. All right, yo, that's better. Look, we got the grass. Look. All right, so look, 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 look. So instead of like being in like a space right now, mental, a low vibration, like 
you know, being in your head or being depressed or anything like that, go do something and transmute the energy. That way you can utilize that to transcend it. And that way you can level up with that information. I'm telling you guys right now, it's 517. Okay. So let's get back to the message. So the thing is, they didn't realize that you, you are too powerful for the rituals. They did this on themselves because the thing is, you are in such a high vibration at this point, that energy would not touch you. It will never touch you. This is why none of the stuff that they did would touch you. They thought they had you in the right energy emotionally, but they didn't set up enough stumbling blocks to get you worried. As long as you stay out of a low vibration, no weapon formed against you will or can prosper. As long as you transmute and use transcendence, aka changing something from one form to another, aka you're just altering the vibration frequency of it, right? So instead of being depressed today, right? Like, you know, us looking at what we don't have, I bet you a lot of you right now watching this video, you feel yourself so abundant, you feel yourself so, you're cut from a different cloth, right? So you know how wealthy you are, right? You're feeling that so much heavenly right now that you're looking around and you're like, it's not enough. Like you're looking around like this should be renovated. This should be gold. You're looking around like this should be platinum. This should be silver. You're looking around like you, you know, like you're expecting more. And this is what puts you into a low vibrational state because you're thinking like, yo, am I not doing enough? Am I not working towards my goal? Am I not putting enough work? Am I not actively putting in or am I a loser? Like you're questioning yourself because you're like you're expecting or you're feeling way different than what you see. You see a lot more. You see, but I'm telling you, it's only, uh, and I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna get to why this had to occur. Okay, I'm gonna get to why. Okay, but these people just wanted you confused. Let's get back to this message. All right, I'm gonna get to why these people, uh, why you had to appear as like you didn't have it. All right, but look, they had to send madness towards you so it could be effective. They now know that it was not effective. Well, it was effective, but it was effective not in the right way that they attended for it. So damage control has to be done. And they don't have a clue of how to predict this thing from hitting them. This is why you want to stay away from social media right now. I'm going to touch base on that real quick. This is why you want to like not really be so, so like, so, hmm, in the consistently to use social media so frequently because it's sucking your manifestations to where it's keeping you drained. It's keeping your resolve, your life force pool drained semi i'm not saying completely cool uh completely uh drained but it's leaving you drained to where it's messing it's interfering with your manifestation and this is why this could be a reason why somebody reached out and said hey they were waking up like in the middle of the night they keep waking up well i believe you probably utilize social media too much and your body's telling you to give it a break so like do other stuff instead of always be on your social media so especially when you first wake up and you go to sleep i'm not gonna lie i grab my phone as soon as i wake up too but we got to make it more of a consistent to not to not be on our phone as much or to not be on social media, especially when we're actively manifesting right now in the present moment, especially right now during this full moon eclipse where we're supposed to be closing off all things. So right now would be the time where you want to kind of like slow down on the social media because we're we're stepping into the new year. OK, so look. Hold on. This was a false high priest. They don't have. I'm telling you, they don't have the capability nor the strength to do anything. All of them are afraid. All of them know that the Grim Reaper is on the way. They don't know who it's getting ready to hit, but they know. I'm telling you right now, they have no idea that they sacrificed themselves trying to sacrifice you. Like, but now, I'm telling you, they recognize that they messed up. Now, now it's when they realize that they're having, like they're realizing that they should not have messed with you because now they're more aware of who you are because without a doubt, they know what they sent towards you, right? And they know that it did not stop you, right? And the reason why it did not stop you because it wasn't meant to stop you. And this is why you have not yet received your huge manifestation because you, you would have still poured it into these people. See, you didn't know yet, but now you're no longer doing that. You had to cut the course. And now that you enter the new year and you have let, you're no longer condoning old, you're no longer uh, going back to the past. It's like, nostalgic you're not going back to past people you're not pertaining to old situations to old relationships right and now that you're not doing that i guarantee everything's coming in your favor 